Welcome to Pirkei Elvis with Rebbein Iona. We are at the end of Mishnah number 9 in chapter 2. 2-9. Two, so this Mishnah, we listed the best midos that a person should go after, the best character traits a person should strive for, and then we talked about the character traits that a person should run away from. And we're towards the end of the bad character traits. Rabbi Shimon Aymer, Rabbi Shimon says, Halayv of Mishalim, that a bad person, the evil way that a person should try to stay away from is someone who is he borrows money and doesn't pay back somebody who borrows from a person is like borrowing from Hashem as it says the evil person borrows and doesn't pay a righteous person is gracious and he gives Rebbe Lezer says a bad heart that is the worst thing. Having a bad heart. Amr lahem, Rabbi Yochum Medzakai said to his students, Ro'ani is divrei Rabbi Elazar ben Arach, shebechlal devarav divreichem. The words of Rabbi Elazar ben Arach, I see them because they are, in his words, are included your words. Now, let's see Rabbi Yona. Rabbi Shimon Aymer, Halei Rabbi Yonah So, the beginning of Rabbi Yonah, the first couple lines here, to be honest, I'm not sure what he's saying, so if anyone has Rabbi Yonah, and you could please enlighten me, please let me know. Okay, but let's continue from there, at the first few lines. So this Rabbi Shimon is the opposite of the good meter. What was the good thing Rabbi Shimon said? The good thing Rabbi Shimon said was that a person should see what the future beholds. And the opposite of that, that the Mida that you should run away from, is someone who borrows money and doesn't repay. Why? This type of person who borrows money and doesn't pay back is the opposite of someone who sees the future, meaning to see what's going to happen from his actions, because he borrowed money without having a means to pay it back. A person should not borrow money if he doesn't have any means to pay it back. If you know now that you're not going to be able to pay back a loan, then don't borrow the money. And just don't borrow the money, even if you really, really need it. So the opposite of somebody who is Haroa Es Hanolan, who sees the future, he knows that it would, what his actions will yield, and if he sees that his actions are going to yield something bad, he stays away from it. That's a good meter. That's a good character trait. Someone who borrows money and doesn't pay back is a person who didn't see the future. He saw that he wasn't going to be able to pay back, and he borrowed the money anyway. So he said, Someone who borrows money is like someone who borrows from Hashem. We find the word loan used by Hashem. As it says, One who has compassion for the poor is like he makes a loan to Hashem. Right? So Leimar, Hashem is a great reward for that. This is what it says. It's like he borrows from Hashem. Kleimar, a person shouldn't think. Once I borrowed money, I don't have anything to pay back. And the the malva, the lender, took me to court. And he couldn't even. I had nothing. Right? I was bankrupt, so he couldn't even uh, take uh, collateral from me. I left the court, I didn't have to pay anything, because I didn't have anything. So what did I do wrong? The court says I don't have to pay. Rather, it's like you borrowed from God. If you're exempt from the laws of humans, but you are not exempt from the laws of heaven. Just like you wouldn't be uh, let, you wouldn't be exempt if you had this court case with Hashem, he says that just like if you would have a court case with God, so to say, you wouldn't be found exempt. So here too, 
even though you had a court case in a human court, and the human court says he doesn't have to pay, he doesn't have anything, and you think you're righteous? No, you're actually a Russia. The person is actually a Russia. He's, an, he's a wicked person, even though he doesn't have anything to pay. Why? Because at the beginning, he should have made sure that he has what to pay. But a righteous person is not like this. He is gracious and he gives. So we're saying that a, that a person, even though in court, the court says you don't have to pay, nevertheless, he's still considered a wicked person because he should have been more careful. If he's borrowing that much money, he should have had an idea that he would have the means to pay back. He should have saw the future. We always have to see, think what we're doing and what the ramifications of our actions bring. But a righteous person, he's gracious and he gives openly. That is to say, He's very careful when he borrows money. Where's the money going to come from? Even though if a person pays back a loan, we don't think he did something great. He did what he's supposed to do. He didn't do such a righteous deed. But a tzaddik who repays a loan, that by nature he's a gracious person and he's very sweet with his words. And when he returns money to people, then we treat it, when a tzaddik returns money, we treat it like he's doing a good thing. He does it so graciously and he's so friendly with the person and he makes, they become friends and close to each other. So the tzaddik is a person who is gracious, he's nice to everybody, he gives to others. So even when he's doing something he's supposed to do, like return a loan, we treat it as a very good thing. And the Russia is someone who borrows money and can't pay back, even though he doesn't have anything. He, 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 said, uh, he says, I would, he's not trying to get out of it. He says, I don't have any money. I declared bankruptcy. What am I going to do? Nevertheless, he's a Russia. He's a wicked person because he should have been more careful when he borrowed the money to make sure that he has. Okay, so we just finished that Mishnah, uh, where we list that uh, we were on this Mishnah for a while. Uh, talking about the best character traits and the worst character traits. And uh, next time, God willing, we'll go on to the next Mishnah. Wishing everyone a beautiful day.